Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amelia and for the month of December, I am posting every Sunday and Wednesday and Thursday. In today's video, I am doing a gift guide. I have 50 plus gift ideas. They range from expensive to inexpensive, large gifts to small gifts, things for kind of anyone in your life. And since it is such a long list, let us hop right into it. So the first thing that I have listed is a pop socket. Now this isn't just any pop socket. This is the Burt's Bees one. I got this last year for Christmas and it has been literally my favorite gift. I think it is such a great stocking stuffer, especially if you have someone who's obsessed with chapstick like I am. They just pop it open and here's the chapstick. It will also come with a refillable. So you get like one to put in and then another one. Number two is an Olive and June manicure set or pedicure set. So Olive and June is a manicure system. They are more than just nail polish. And for the holiday season, they've kind of put together holiday kits. You can pick out the different nail polishes that you want. It really is like a full system to give you the best manicure possible. Number three is a house painting. I'm not really sure what to call this, but basically you submit a photo of the outside of your house and these people will create it as this really beautiful drawing. This is a really nice way to either commemorate someone's first home or a childhood home. You can find this on Etsy. I literally just think I'd like typed in like house painting or house watercolor and a ton of results will come up. Number four are cow print Uggs. I hate that I want these because I feel they are so, so basic, but they are so, so, so cute. Number five is a ring light, which is exactly what I'm staring at right now. So this doesn't just have to be someone who like is doing YouTube or whatever. This is good for anyone who just wants to take better Instagram photos or if you know someone who has a small business and takes a lot of product photos, the way ring lights will tilt will give them a perfect photo every single time. Number six, perfume and cologne kits from Sephora. So every year Sephora puts together these perfume and cologne kits. Normally they have like one that's cheaper that's maybe around $70 and one that's more expensive that might be just over a hundred and you just get little minis of every perfume, pretty much the most popular ones. And the best thing about this kit is that after the person is done with it, they find the one that they love. There is a coupon in that kit for the person to get the full size perfume. I think it is just an amazing deal because getting a full size perfume for like $70, I really feel is like unheard of a lot of the time. Number seven is a gift card to nail salon, a hair salon or a barber shop. Maybe they don't treat themselves and you just wanna say, hey, like why don't you treat yourself? And this goes hand in hand with number eight, which is a spa weekend. So you either can purchase this solo and just give it to someone or you can tack yourself onto this trip and say, hey, why don't we go away to the spa for the weekend? and just get pampered. Number nine, sporting event tickets. This is pretty self-explanatory, but a little tip, if you are like me and do not like sporting events, a lot of times teams will put together like packages. So for instance, I know the Flyers will put together holiday packs and you can get club level seating along with like assigned hockey puck and kind of like comped drinks and food. And the nice thing about the club level tickets is it is a special section that has more room its own bar and a waitress i love amenities and i like feeling like a vip without spending vip prices and i had a really nice time i think it might have been only the second hockey game i went to or maybe the first so for me it was a really nice experience and i think it's a way that if you are not really into sports you can kind of get into it if you like the finer things in life number 10 is a world wildlife foundation donation so if you see that little penguin in the back right there that is what that is last year my mother purchased me a penguin and I think I actually have the gift thing right here. Is this it? Yes. So it'll come with this, a certificate of adoption. I adopted an emperor penguin 
and this is just really cute if you have someone who loves a certain type of animal or just loves animals in general again it is a kind of a nice gesture but they still get something to remember the animal by versus just like a certificate number 11 is a flower subscription service you can get flowers delivered to either your house or someone else's house monthly for however long you want them to it usually runs like three six or 12 months a company that I know that does it is Books, and they put together like really beautiful bouquets that are, you know, not just your average like 12 dozen roses or Gerber daisies. They really do, and I'll use this word, curate really nice flowers that create beautiful bouquets and are unique and last a really long time. Number 12 is an always plan from the company Our Place. I know last year I was seeing commercial after commercial for these pans, but they are really an always pan. This is a great gift for someone who is just moving into a new place and going to be cooking for themselves. I got one last year in a beautiful light pink and I'll wash it every night, put it away and be like, oh right, like I need it again. It is a non-stick heavy duty pan that comes with its own wooden spatula, its own sponge, how to take care of it and a few little recipes. It also has a little steamer basket, which is really nice for steaming like vegetables or dumplings or whatever else. And now they have a giant pot that I actually might get because I love this pan. I cannot say enough good things about it. Next, going on the kitchen thing is an air fryer. I know during quarantine, this was like the biggest topic, but just talking to more and more people about it, it really does seem like a great gift. It does a ton of stuff. And if you like the crunchiness of a lot of food, which who doesn't, but you don't want to put it in oil and fry it, this is another great option. Okay, the next is this bag. So this is from a company called El Cholo's Kid. And I purchased this over the summer and it was like my little summer bag. It's literally made out of just like plastic lanyard hand woven in Mexico. And I got so many compliments on this bag. I put so many people onto this. This is the small but there's an even smaller called the nano there's medium large extra large tote she even sells earrings but one you are supporting a small business and it is just such a unique cool design they also have you know just plain black or plain pink and different kind of multicolored ones and i'm not even like super into colors but i could not pass this bag up all right another bag on the list is the brandon blackwood bag this has been everywhere and i do want one very very badly i mean you just like see someone with it and you just know it's a brandon blackwood bag they're very unique beautiful quality but they do sell out fast. So if you think the person in your life would like this, like follow him on Instagram so you make sure that you're like actually purchasing the bag. I would say they're definitely on the higher end, but still not astronomical. You know, it's not like Louis Vuitton pricing or anything. And to me, they're a lot more unique than some of the other designers. Next is a weighted blanket. I've probably spoken about this on my channel before, but I love my weighted blanket. When I go stay someplace and I can't take my weighted blanket with me, I get a little upset because I can't like sleep without it now. One, it helps me get to sleep and it helps me stay asleep longer. And they come in different weights. So mine is 12 pounds. My boyfriend has a 17 pound one and it's like based on how much you weigh. Another thing for nighttime and sleeping is a sunrise alarm clock. So if you do not want to be woken up with the annoying noise of just a regular alarm, this will mimic the actual sunrise and you know like gradually get brighter and brighter and brighter and also play a soft little tune to wake you up. Next we have a Theragun. So it's that device that like you hold it down and it literally like beats <laughs> your muscles. There's a fitness fanatic or someone who just has like super sore muscles because they're on their feet all day. This is a really nice gift and it doesn't actually have to be Theragun brand. There are other brands out there who have come up with one now. The next is a travel bag for dogs. It's like basically a diaper bag, but for dog items, someone in your life has a pet that they travel with a lot. Another great option, you can put your food in and your treats and it also comes with collapsible food and water bowls. And then it has a bunch of different pockets for 
toys, other treats, medication, whatever you could possibly need. And it all sips nicely up in what kind of looks like a cooler and you're ready to go. Next is a Bluetooth beanie. Again, something that pretty much sounds what it is, but it is a beanie that you wear. And there's speakers like right by your ears and you control it via Bluetooth. Any sort of personalized gift. So I would literally go on to Etsy, typed in personalized gift and tons and tons of options will come up for whatever their lifestyle is. You know, you can have a personalized laptop cover, phone case, mug, like engraved knife. Um, kind of whatever the person is into. Then we have a corksicle. So this is a long cork that goes into a wine bottle. And when you pour the wine, it will chill it and also aerate it simultaneously. I know I hate warm wine. I cannot drink warm wine. My wine has to be cold. So this has come in handy a lot because I don't store my wine in the fridge. Now corksicle, this was I think their first item but now they've launched into a bunch of different things and now they have koozies for beer or just like larger tumblers to just drink out of. On the subject of alcohol, we have a wine subscription service. So something like Wink, you can sign them up for, or let's say you're visiting family and you want to be a good guest, you can have a box of wine shipped to them as kind of like a nice offering. And the next one is then a beer subscription service called Beer Drop, where you get 10 beers monthly. To me, that is a lot of beers because I don't drink beer, but they, every month, they like put together a really interesting list of beers and ship it to you. All right, next we have Gold Belly. This is a website that will basically ship any food anywhere in the world. You know, if you can't get someplace and you just want to send a nice little gift, this is a really easy option. Or they also now have virtual cooking classes. I did this with my mother for Mother's Day and we did a Detroit style pizza class and they sent us all the ingredients and even the pan that we needed to use, plus some stuff to make a little cocktail with. And it was just an hour class. You just log on like you would any other Zoom and kind of cook. It is a nice experience to share with someone. Then these all kind of like will go together, but we're counting them separately. One, a date night. So this does not have to be super extravagant but I think most people just like the effort. So if you say, hey, I booked us a hotel downtown for the night and we're gonna go to this restaurant and then we're gonna go get dessert here or we're gonna see a comedy show and then get drinks after, like whatever it is that you think the person will like. Then if you wanna take it up a notch, you can say, hey, we're going away for the weekend. And I will say, it doesn't necessarily have to be to another state. I know I will look around like Airbnb sometimes or even just the hotels in Philadelphia. And I'm like, oh, that would be a cool place to stay just for kind of a different change of scenery, something else to do. And then if you don't necessarily want to stay someplace, but you want to do an experience, Airbnb now has Airbnb experiences. If you watch my Maryland vlog, you saw that we went to an apiary that was booked through Airbnb experiences. If you are going someplace, this is a great way to find what to do. You know, I don't think I would have found to do that apiary on my own, but also there's just interesting things to do where you currently live. Next is a coffee gift set. So you can either, you know, Google coffee gift sets, Etsy will sell them too, or you can put together one, just buy like a super nice basket and some nice coffee mugs, nice coffee grounds from a local coffee shop, put together a nice basket, wrap it up, and there you go. Another basket idea is a website called Man Crate. You get a literal wooden crate, pry it open with a crowbar, crowbar provided. Inside is kind of whatever you choose. So there's things from like beer lover to like chips, to just cocktails, to building like little model airplanes and fishing lures. Then let's say you get invited someplace last minute, but don't wanna go empty handed, but don't have anything. If GoPuff in, is in your area, use GoPuff. They have boxes that have like snacks in them that you can ship as just kind of a little gift or they also will deliver alcohol. So look into that if you're ever like caught in a last minute crunch 
Then we have a HelloFresh, Blue Apron, Freshly, most other things, subscription service, someone who is very busy in your life, does not have time to go grocery shopping, or maybe kind of just needs some help, needs someone to get groceries for them. This is a really good option and a really nice gift. I'm not really sure what to call this one, so I'm gonna call it like an hour song class memorial, but Basically on Etsy, you can like look up song memorials, choose the song that is your song and then it looks like an iPod. We all know like what I'm saying, like the play with the pause, fast forward, go back. And you can also even say like, I want it to be stopped at 328 because like that's a really important lyric. This is kind of just a really cute gift to memorialize a song that the two of you really love. All right, if you have someone who hosts a lot you can buy oversized yard games so they have like giant jenga or just cornhole or giant connect four which the giant connect four looks so fun i wish i had room for it and then again going off of that if you have someone who likes to host like a charcuterie board and utensils to go with it so you can actually get charcuterie boards engraved and personalized so it doesn't just have to be like this blank wooden block but also you know put some cheese knives in there fancy toothpicks maybe get some like little serving bowls that can go on it next our pet pillows and it's basically a pillow where you will send in a photo of your pet the person will print the picture of your pet or someone else's pet on it, cut it out in kind of the shape of your pet and you have a super cute little pet pillow. Next are smart home devices. So I put this here because I was kind of thinking like, you know, a Roomba is a really great gift, you know, make sure the person like actually wants it and you're not like offending them by buying them a vacuum, but also things like ring or blink. Let's say your kid is like moving out for the first time and you want to get them the ring that's like the doorbell for your apartment you know it could put your mind at ease and also just like a nice little housewarming gift the thing with that is it does require a subscription service so unless you're also going to pay like yearly for the subscription service just be mindful of that let's say you have someone who loves crafting get them a cry cut machine a cry cut will cut out things like stickers and vinyl and all sorts of things just make super cool crafty things and it comes in two sizes so the regular one that's probably like about this big and a mini one it just depends on what the person does there's also a bunch of accessories so if someone else already does have a cry cut you can just buy some more of the accessories to go with it next is a peloton i think probably the most expensive thing i have listed on here again it requires a subscription service so it's probably something you would have to talk about. Kind of on that same thing is an electric bike. So this is a bike that you would take outside and ride. My boyfriend has one. It is a great way to get around a city if you are commuting to work or if you like drive for Grubhub or something. Basically like you'll pedal but there's a little motor depending how high you put the motor on is how much like speed you will go to and a lot of them also fold up very nicely and pretty small so if you live in a smaller space it won't take up too much room next are forever mood candles so this is jackie ina's brand you can buy it directly from her website or from sephora they smell amazing they look really nice and classy on the subject of candles like a personal humidifier slash essence diffusers so here's mine i got this off amazon you just Fill it with water and little essential oils and it just comes out here if i turned it on if it was plugged in it would also light up different colors next we have i put send food so there are a bunch of different companies there's harry and david swiss colony again if you can't get someplace or you're going to be staying someplace for a little bit of time you know just like coming with a food offering of sorts i think it's just always like a classy little option then we have a coffee cup heater so this is a specific coffee cup plus almost saucer that plugs in and will keep your coffee or tea or matcha, whatever, warm. Then we have wireless headphones. Obviously there's the AirPods, there's Raycon, there's, I think Beats has one now. There's a ton of different options. I personally love my wireless headphones. They make my life so much easier, but if you have someone who has wireless headphones and they're always slipping out of their ears there are these things now that slip over the actual like part that would go into your ear 
and hooks up into here so they stay on. Just another little stocking stuffer. Then workout gear. You can buy yoga mats, weights, medicine balls, clothing, water bottles, straps to make sure they don't lose, you know, their phone when they're running. All different types of accessories. You just literally type in workout gear and a ton of different things will come up. Plus also places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls have sections for this so you can buy them discounted. Then is something that I am actually wearing right now is this pet memorial necklace. So if you're watching my channel last year, you knew I used to have a cat. Unfortunately, she passed away from cancer and my mom got me this cute little necklace that's literally her face and her name Cece on it. And it was just such a sweet gesture. Plus the necklace is really pretty and durable. I do wear it in the shower though. I don't think it's recommended and it has yet to tarnish. Another small business that I want to shout out is Lemon Honey Crafts. They're Philadelphia based. She's best known for her earrings. She makes very unique earrings but she's recently doing this thing that's like blind date with a book so you read a two sentence excerpt about a book and the category it's in and you say yeah okay i think that would that sounds good she packages it up wraps it really nicely and ships it out to you you know this can be shipped anywhere so if you're not going to see someone and they love to read and you generally know the genre I think it's very cute and now it comes in holiday packaging too. Last two things. I was thinking this would be good for like young adults or college students, but gift cards to grocery stores, gasoline places, Starbucks, Uber Eats, all of that stuff. When I was a college student and even like my first year living on my own, all I wanted was like gift cards to go grocery shopping really, because I'm just like, if this one expense can kind of like be taken off my plate it will make me feel a bit better and then finally cash again people have mixed feelings about this but at the end of the day who doesn't want a little bit more cash you know it doesn't just have to be like here's a 20 dollar bill like whatever you can wrap them really nice and that wraps it up for the gift guide thank you all so much for watching be sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye